Hi everyone, it's Monique. It's time for Christmas cookie baking and sweet treat decorating, and that means a lot of red icing. So today I'm going to show you how to get the perfect shade of red in royal icing and buttercream, and two quick projects that you could use with it. So we know that red icing is pretty difficult to achieve. It usually turns out more pink than red, and you have to use practically the entire bottle just to get the right shade. Also, using a liquid food color can change the consistency of your icing, making it runny and difficult to decorate with. What's worse is it could change the flavor of your icing color to taste like blech. Well, that is all a thing of the past because we've got the perfect solution for your red icing woes. The Colorite Performance Color System comes with eight base colors. You can mix these colors to achieve virtually any color that you want with our easy quick count formula guide. So we'll start with our buttercream. I'm going to make the winter red color, which calls for 40 drops of red. That's right. 40 drops. I know it sounds like a lot, but in reality, it's actually only half a teaspoon, so really not that much. And fun fact, each bottle contains about 250 to 350 drops, so we're really not using that much. So go ahead and grab your red and start counting to 40. And voila, there you have your beautiful winter red color. Now, just with any icing color, it might deepen or darken over time, but you could definitely see the difference here between our generic food color and our Colorite color system pink and red, definitely want to use winter red for your Christmas projects. So now with the red icing color that we just made, I'm going to use a tip 102 to pipe some ruffles on top of the cupcake and pop a cute little Christmas tree on top. And there you have it, our mini Christmas tree cupcakes. They're so cute. Now I'm going to show you how to color some royal icing. Now there's quite a few differences between royal icing and buttercream, starting with the ingredients. Royal icing is made from confectioner sugar, meringue powder, and water. Typically, flavorings or extracts are not required. Now, I already made my royal icing, so I'm keeping it in an airtight container because it dries hard when it's exposed to air. Not only that, I like to keep it in Tupperware because I can mix my colors in here and store it, so there's less cleanup. I'm going to color our royal icing. I'm going to use the same winter red color as we did with buttercream, but for a two cup measurement of royal icing, we need slightly more, so I'm going to use 46 drops of red. And there's our beautiful winter red. Now I'm going to use this icing, which we call full strength consistency, to outline our cookies. And I'm going to use a tip number two. Next, we're going to fill our cookies. So to do that, we have to thin our icing a little bit. So we're going to add a little bit of water at a time. Stir slowly by hand in a figure eight motion to prevent whipping in air bubbles. To test the consistency of the icing, we're going to take a small scoop of it and pop it back in and start counting to 10. If you reach 10 by the time it all blends together, then it's the right consistency. So now that our icing is the perfect consistency, I'm just gonna pour it into a decorating bag and now we'll do the same for the white. Now we're gonna fill our cookies, so I'm just gonna snip off a little piece and start filling. I'm just gonna start by filling or outlining the edges of the cookie first and then filling in the rest. And usually this icing will kind of flood itself out, but if you need to, you can also use a toothpick at the end to fill in any empty spaces. So now that that red is still a little bit wet, that's when we're gonna wanna add some of our white accents to it so that it could fill into it. So I'm gonna cover my red icing with a wet paper towel so that it doesn't dry out. And then just snip off a little piece of the white. And then for this one, I'm just gonna make some polka dots. And now onto the star. And again, you just wanna fill it in by starting around the edges and filling in the insides and pushing along any icing that you need to with the toothpick. And to decorate this star, I'm just going to make a dot in the center of it and then we're going to pull it out with the toothpick to make a star inside the star. So for this next design, I'm going to show you how to make some hearts. So. All that requires is some dots throughout the star and then we're going to drag a toothpick through it. These are looking great so far, but just remember when you're done decorating all of your cookies to let them set for at least eight hours or I like to let them set overnight just because if I'm gifting them, I wanna make sure that they're dried nice and hard so I can pack them up nicely. And there you have it, two cute treats you can make this holiday season thanks to Colorite. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what types of treats you'll be making this season. My name is Monique. Thanks for watching.